This is a linear antenna with a really cool trick up its sleeve. You see, linear antennas are great, especially on FPV drones. They're super cheap, they're light, they're small, which means they don't get damaged, they're easy to mount, and the range is comparable to even some of the most expensive FPV antennas. But there's a couple downsides. You see, linear antennas are much more susceptible to the angle changing compared to your goggles, which could lead to worse performance, especially as you start to get farther away and do flips and rolls maybe in freestyle or racing. They don't do as good in multi-path environments, but this antenna solves that problem with these two little circles. You see these are little caps that you can put on top of this linear antenna and make it polarized. It's now right hand, take it off. Now it's a left hand antenna. And that is so cool. In today's video, I'm going to give you three reasons why this is a huge deal, especially in the FPV racing world, and why I think this antenna, which has been around for years, has been the biggest thing we've been missing in FPV. Problem number one. I'm at a tiny trainer race and the race director tells me to change from right hand to left hand or left hand to right hand, or just tells me I can't use linear polarized antennas. What I have to do, take off my canopy, go in there, carefully remove the UFL, carefully take the antenna out of its mount, go find my other $15 to $20 antenna, put it on the UFL, run it down the wire perfectly, put it back on there, put the canopy back on there, and now I've already missed my heat or I'm sweating and I'm crazy, and now by the time I actually go to the next heat, I have to change back and I have a headache and I'm unhappy. If I had a micro switchblade and a mount that doesn't exist yet that hopefully somebody creates, I would be able to say, oh, no problem. I'll just take off this cap, go into my bag, grab this left-handed cap, and now I'm ready to go in five seconds and I don't have a headache at all. Actually, no, no problems at all and my video is great, as well as everybody else's. And if I'm a race director, it's the best day of my life because now I have a pilot who didn't complain about having to change polarizations because now it's actually easy. The reason a lot of these racing pilots use UFL antennas is because it's so much lighter and we've all convinced ourselves that a few grams is going to save the day between us getting first and, and us getting last place. Is that true? I don't know, but we've all been convinced of that one way or another. So if I'm a race director, if I'm a pilot who hates having headaches, this is awesome. Example number two, if I take a circular polarized antenna, I grab a hammer or a propeller or whatever happens in a drone race and I smash that antenna. You know what I have? I have a $15 to $20 piece of garbage. It's not gonna work, it's gonna be damaged, I'm gonna get way worse signal, and that's gonna be bad news. Meaning I now have lost out on $20 and have to go right back through that process that I already mentioned of taking off the canopy, pulling off the UFL, putting on a new antenna, and going to cry in the corner. But if I took the micro switchblade, smashed it on the table, broke the little cap, God forbid, now, I have a linear antenna, and linear antennas are fine. I can finish the race with this, I can fly with my friends with this, and I haven't lit $20 on fire. Then I can go back to my bag, and if I bought a couple of these, then I guarantee I have another cap laying around, toss it on, and I'm back in business with the proper polarization. This, also awesome. Reason number three being the cost to maintain this puppy. When I go out to fly and I have a $20 antenna on my quad, every single time I go fly, you know, whether $20 is a lot or a little to you, you're risking breaking that antenna or damaging it. That could cause you issues at a race and overall headache by having to go in and fix it uh, by removing screws and yada, yada, yada. But with the micro switchblade, I can just go out to the field, fly as much as I want, not worry about breaking this thing because it's so small and so easy to mount, it's way less likely to break, I would argue. And then when I go to the race, I can go to my bag, grab my little baggie of caps and put them on to make sure I and everyone else have the best video possible by being the proper polarization. That's pretty awesome. But when you really start to look at the cost effectiveness of this, it makes a lot more sense. If I wanted to outfit five quads with their own right and left hand polarized antenna, I now have to double the price of an already pretty expensive antenna. So say I'm buying $20 antennas or $15 antennas, if I wanna have one of each, that takes it to $30 to $40 per drone of antennas that when they break, they're gone forever. But if I bought a switchblade, I would now be at $17.50 or whatever they are per drone. I have essentially three antennas, left hand, right hand, and linear, and if I break a cap, boo-hoo, I can just go pull the cap off one of my other drones, toss it on like so, and I'm not out the $20 overnight like that. I think this is a total game changer, and I honestly just feel crazy for not finding this sooner. This antenna, this whole situation, it's been out for forever. Video Aerial Systems has had this out for so long, and I talked to Alex, the owner, and he was saying they started gluing the lids on because no one was actually using them to change the caps. And I was like, Alex, 
I don't want the glue. This is amazing. I didn't know this existed. Why? Why? We need this right now. So we got some in the 45 millimeter UFL, which is the most popular UFL length in racing. We got them with no glue on the caps and I got them with both right and left hand in one package. So when you purchase them, they come with the linear antenna and a cap of each polarization. So you don't have to buy one of each or anything like that. They're also five and 10 pack versions, which means you're getting five or even 20 caps. It's super lightweight. Obviously the linear antenna, this thing weighs like 0.8 grams. With a cap, this thing weighs 1.3 grams or 1.4 grams, something like that. It's durable, it's cheap, it's cost effective. It's a race director's dream. It's a pilot's dream for not having to take apart the quad every 13 seconds. It's just super cool. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think about this. I'm going to do a whole other video doing a range test comparing a right-handed polarized antenna like this one compared to one of the super fancy true RC antennas like this one here in the near future. But Video Aerial Systems has been a part of making some of the best antennas in FPV for forever, so I have a lot of trust. And if you wanna see a video about how this technology works, I'll link a video down below that Alex Greaves made where he teaches you how to make your own using a piece of foam and paper clips, which is just crazy to me and I think it's super cool. Um, Alex is a awesome guy and very knowledgeable, which is very apparent, which is made very apparent in the video. So please go check that out if you want a little bit more technical knowledge on it. These are available down below if you would like to try them out. And if you have any, any and if you have any cool ideas for how to mount these things that allows you to have linear and each cap uh, easily switchable, I'd love to hear your ideas and also send you a couple so that you could try and make this that allows everyone to have their switchblade mounted on any type of drone and easily change the caps. We have a couple ideas, but I know there's a lot of smart people out there and would love to hear what you all have to say. Thanks so much for watching. These are listed down below. I'm going to go fly, do a range test on this. It's raining outside, but hopefully it stops soon. I'll see you guys around.